Michigan has a toxic legacy. There are now 31 sites throughout Michigan where PFAS has contaminated drinking water supplies. PFAS, a large family of man-made chemicals that are used in non-stick cookware, stain-resistant furniture, carpeting, waterproof clothing, food wrappers, pizza boxes, fast food wrappers, and shoes. Shoes like the popular Hush Puppy shoes, manufactured at the Wolverine plant in Rockford, Michigan. In the 1950s, companies like Wolverine dumped chemicals into rivers and unlined landfills. These chemicals leached into wells and contaminated the drinking water including the wells of the Plainfield Water Treatment Plant. We know that Wolverine started dumping in 1958. So some of these chemicals have been in the ground since 1958. Um, they did learn in 1999 that these chemicals were poisonous, but they continued dumping until 2006. These chemicals, even at low levels, can have deadly consequences. PFAS has been linked to cancers, thyroid disorders, elevated cholesterol, and other diseases. Tom was uh, the picture of health. He was that guy that didn't eat sugar, didn't eat carbs, rarely ate red meat, worked out six days a week, never smoked a day in his life. And he woke up and he had severe pain in his side and he wanted to go to the emergency room, which if Tom wanted to go to the emergency room, then something was definitely wrong. During the ultrasound, they found what they described was a baseball-sized mass on his right kidney. His doctors were completely stunned because he had absolutely no symptoms prior. They came back and they told us it was unclassified renal cell carcinoma. The tumor had grown to the size of a football. It had infiltrated his liver, his colon, his adrenal gland, his gallbladder, and his abdominal wall. He passed away at home. Because it is so widely used, it is likely all of us have a very low level of PFOS in our blood. I was sitting on Facebook like normal, and all of a sudden I see this post in a um, Facebook group that says, hey, your water's contaminated. Like, okay, I want to read more. That post was from Travis Brown, a researcher investigating PFOS contamination in Plainfield Township. We created the Facebook group, Command Action from Plainfield Township. Within two weeks, we had three to 600 people. Within a month, it was like 1,200. Today, we're sitting about 5,500 people. It's been pretty crazy the last almost year now. The EPA standard for PFOS in our drinking water is 70 parts per trillion, but a new CDC study says that's six times too high. Michigan needs enforceable standards for clean drinking water. What we are trying to do is get people to start asking questions instead of just believing whatever is told to them, to question everything. 